Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to connect our Python application plus the SQL Alchemy RM to a database. So first things first, we are going to create our database within the terminal. So we're going to say create database. This time I'm going to call it to do list. To do list is going to have topics and tasks in the same manner that the blogs table had, the blogs database had. Perfect. So we have created that. We have created our database. We can, we should be able to take a look at it here. There we go. It is to do list. Now, from the Python application, go ahead and install um, pip env install mysql connector dash python, which I've already installed within this directory, within this. Um, uh, virtual environment. I'm not going to install it again. What I'm going to install is SQL Alchemy. So I'm going to say pip env ins install uh, SQL Alchemy. Let's just wait for it a few seconds until it is going to install. Then we basically in this chapter we're going to use the uh, SQL Alchemy ORM for this uh, to interact with the SQLite database. And uh, we know that the uh, it is going to is it, this ORM has object view cent object centric views, which means that we are going to use the dot operator a lot, and we are going to use classes as well. So perfect. If we take a look at pip file, there we go. SQL Alchemy has been installed successfully. Let's run. Let's uh, activate this shell. Pip env shell perfect it is already activated so that's a good thing let me close this window so from the sql alchemy what i'm going to do is i'm going to say sql alchemy from there i'm going to import a column we're going to talk about every individual one of these integer uh string and foreign key so e-i-g-n-k-e-y perfect I'm going to import this. Then from the SQL Alchemy, okay, from the SQL Alchemy, I'm going to I'm going to import the create engine as well. So create engine uh, from the SQL Alchemy dot ORM. Let's import uh, session maker. We are going to talk about that. Don't worry. Session maker and relationship, which is very important. And finally, we are gonna from the SQL Alchemy dot ex, ext executable. We are gonna grab the declarative, and from there we are gonna import the declarative base. We are going to talk about all of these in in like in this lecture and in the, in the next one. Don't worry about them. Now, connecting to our database requires the database type along with the driver. The reason that we need a driver is because you're connecting to a server, unlike uh, when we had the SQLite where there was no server and the file, it was basically uh, stored on the disk. So let's grab our engine and I'm going to say, I'm going to grab our create engine function and within there, within double quotes or single quotes, I'm going to pass in my SQL plus my SQL connector. I'm going to write it my SQL connector. Let's pass in double forward slashes. So it is the root. What is the password? We know root is the user, so we are going to pass in the password. Now this is SQL Alchemy. So it abstracts away the database concept, the database implementation. And we are we are working with this. Um, we are trying to connect to this uh, to do list database in a more Pythonic way. So we are going to say at local host. Uh, usually it is thirty three oh six because I'm connecting. I'm connecting to the base one to the root one. You can see it is thirty three oh six. But if you're connecting to another one, you just have to write the port uh, port for that. And then what is the name of the database? It is to, to do uh, underscore uh, list. And, and let's close this quote. It is double quote. And then I'm going to pass in the echo. Echo is going to be equal to true. 
Now the echo equals to two true is, is responsible for SQL Alchemy to print out SQL statements that execute. So by the end of this lecture, what we are trying to achieve is just print all the SQL, uh, SQL code or commands or statements that execute our queries. Now this is useful when you want to know what is happening behind the scenes with SQL Alchemy. So that is the whole idea behind this lecture. In the next lecture, we are going to take these ideas to the next step and we are going to take a look at how we can insert actual data into our database using this abstracted away approach. So in this one, so so far everything is okay. Perfect. Let me store this within a variable and I'm going to call it engine. Perfect. Now uh, I'm going to create a base as well. So I'm going to say base is going to be equal to the declarative base that we have. The reason that we are using this declarative base is because all models in SQL Alchemy ORM are based on the declarative base. With this base, we can create our models with the relevant tables in mind. So in this case, we have the topic and the tasks table. This is going to allow us to create those tables. All right, so uh, as we know that SQL Alchemy ORM, it has an object-centric view, so we can use classes. So I'm just gonna, this is a good practice for OOM, OOP as well. I'm gonna pass in our base, and let's create the table attributes first. So I'm gonna say table name is going to be equal to, what is the table name? So at first, it is going to be topics. It is going to require some args as well, or uh, I'm going to say table args or arguments, and I'm going to pass it and in inside a dictionary. So let's say we have our schema. Uh, okay. Come on, buddy. Schema, which is going to be equal to what is the schema that we're working with? It is to underscore do underscore list. Perfect. Now we need to set up the columns as well. So because this is a newly created database, within this uh, terminal, we just created the database. We didn't specify any columns or anything for that matter. So we need to set up the columns as well. So I'm going to say setting up the columns. That's where the rest of these guys are going to come into place. They're going to help us create the columns. And you know it is the integer type, the string type. This is the foreign key. So you can see everything is making sense as you move, move along. The first one is going to be topic ID. And we are going to say column. Uh, it is going to have a, a type of integer. Make sure it is uppercase. Then we are, it is going to be the primary key. So primary underscore key is going to be equal to true. Perfect. And then we have the title, which is going to be a yet another column. And the type is going to be strength. The length uh, is going to be equal to, um, I could say 100, which is fair. And description, I'm going to put it to 255. Description. Perfect. So this is setting up the columns. We need something else that is going to show a representation of our uh, uh, a printable representation of this this object that we are trying this instance of the database that we're trying to create so I'm going to say def repr underscore underscore r e p r represent we uh, we know that every function within a class requires at least one parameter and that is self so let's create a printable representation so in here I'm going to say topic and I'm going to pass in title. Uh, the title is going to be, let's pass a zero, so the first title. And then we are going to pass in the description as well. So let me just highlight this. Perfect. Spelled correctly. And the description is going to be one. Okay, it's a little bit difficult to type this stuff here. I'm going to pass it as one. Perfect. So this is going to be the first within that uh, if you want, if you are trying to extract that information, the item with the index of zero, the item with the index of one. And um, hmm, 
So is there anything else that we need to worry about? I'm just going to close that here. Hmm. It seems it is correct, so we are going to format it as well. I think we have used the dot .format method before. So we are going to say self.title. The first one is the title. And the second one is, what is that? It is description. Perfect. I think uh, we are done here. Let me remove that parenthesis. Um, hmm. Yeah, we are done here. So let's create the uh, task class as well. Uh, for that, just to save you some time, I could just copy this one. And I could just print it here. Now, starting from the top, the table name is going to be tasks. So it is tasks. The schema is going to be to-do list. The reason for that is both of them relate to the same database. Uh, and this is going to allow us to establish that foreign key relationship. We are going to have task ID. The first one is going to be task ID, integer, primary key, true. And the second one is going to be, let me just copy that. The second one is going to be topic ID. So let me just change it to topic ID. It's going to be integer foreign key, of course, is not going to be true because this is a uh, primary key is not true because this is our foreign key. So let's grab the foreign key. And what, what are we going to pass in here? Where is the foreign key coming from? What is the reference? It is the to do list database from there dot topics dot topic id this is what is meant exactly by this object centric kind of view you have the dot operator which is used on the objects so we had the database interaction in our previous lecture how you could do this using the uh, actual sql commands but this is the abstracted away version using sql alchemy so it is completely up to you you think this is complicated you can go ahead move on with the SQL, you think this is better, this is Pythonic, then you can work with this. It's just like you need to like get used to this stuff. And then we have our description column string length 255. Now let's build the relationships. I'm going to say building the relationship. Uh, what is the relationship? So we are going to say topic is going to relate to the topic class. Perfect. And we store it within this topic. We are going to use that, of course. So what is this um, representation of it? String. So instead of topic, we are going to pass in task. Task is just going to have a description. So I'm just going to pass in description in here. Hmm. And uh, format self.description. Perfect. Let's save that. And we are done in here. So the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the metadata and I'm going to uh, add it, add to it the engine. So I'm going to say base, you remember the base, and I'm going to say metadata dot create all. What is responsible for creating everything that is the engine? Now, when we run this program, we should be able to see the actual queries being run with SQL Alchemy. They will look like queries that we coded manually throughout these chapters. So let's save that. Hopefully there are no errors. So I'm going to say, um, hmm. let's grab the name of this file. Let's copy that. Let's click here. Path. Where am I clicking? Come on, buddy. Click here. Python pass. Oops. I'm going to say Python. Okay. Perfect. Dot pi. There we go. So we don't have any errors. I'm going to bring this up. And if I zoom in here, you can see that these are the actual queries that uh, we, we, we actually hand coded. So we have our table schema. This is table name topics. It says engine is going to select count. We know what count is from this table where table name, where table schema is this. So this is this, the SQL, um, uh, SQL command or SQL statement that is going to create a table for us. We have topic ID, integer, not null, odd increment. We have title, varchar 100, because we did specify it as 100, remember? And then it was description, varchar, and also uh, primary key is topic. And then we have, we have created the tasks table. You can see how this uh, SQL alchemy 
is going to take into consideration what is the best practice. So we talked about how we should uh, uh, table uh, qualify the, we, we should actually grab the name of the databases and put them in front of our tables, the tables that we had. It's like um, that was a best practice because in some databases, those queries run faster. And by default, SQL Alchemy uses that. There we go. Task ID, and then we have topic ID, description. This is the primary key, and this is the foreign key. And there we go. It says references to do topics. So you saw how we inserted that, and it, what it did was it was basically there to reference. So what does it reference? It reference to do list. This is the SQL representation of it, this line. So this line is equivalent to this line that we wrote here. I think SQL Alchemy is really cool. It has a lot of potential. And I do believe that you use it, that you have to use it uh, in most of your applications, if not all of them. I'm not saying like SQL is bad or anything, like using SQL in Python, but some people believe that within Python, you have to use Pythonic code. And you have to try to ex extract, uh, abstract away these concepts as much as possible. Because in a real world scenario, these statements they're actually true. Because when you're working in a in a uh, in a company, on a project, everybody is going to have a specific role. Now, very rarely in startups, you're going to see that there is a person that is going to be responsible for everything. We call those kind of people everything manager. So, for example, they're the front-end developer, the back-end developer, the database manager, the everything manager. So, but quite often, quite literally, you're going to have one person for front, you one person for back, one person to manage the databases and the data. So, as far as you are concerned, you should be familiar with SQL, how it works, what are the different commands, but you should try to keep your code as Pythonic as possible because this is a best practice. This shows you're a professional Python developer. As with the name of this course, it, this course is just to prepare you to become that professional Python developer that every company needs and deserves and wants and is looking for. That's it for this lecture. See you in the next one.